that's the problem. You just need to read. Reading is the solution. Reading is the solution. Yes. Uh, that is the word of Sally. Reading is the solution. And of course, that is a challenge to every student, no matter where you might be, no matter your status. If you definitely read, you can you surely read. pave the way for success. Just as he said, it is never a shortcut or there is no shortcut to success. And just as I always say, al say also, success is always a continuous journey. There is no fixed destination for success. The more you go, the more you um, toil, the more you mo moil, and the more you boil, the more success that you have, and that is ex um, you know, extensively important. Uh, coming back to um, Ida, uh, one thing uh, that we've seen happening in, in most of the schools, um, in, in, in schools sometimes is we do receive complaints that there is always the issue of sexual harassment in schools, like uh, you will hear people saying, there are teachers that the students, especially girls, give them grades for better marks, you know, and uh, these are issues that have been happening because in some cases we have also gone to the extent of seeing teachers impregnating their very own students. Just want to know, as a girl child and of course as a student, what, uh, how, what do you think exactly needs to be done and what is your thought on this same issue? I think um, that student-teacher relationship, it's because of there is lack of respect on both the side of the teacher and the student. Mm -hmm. Because as a teacher, and also as a parent, because if you see our parents taking us to school, it's for them to be our parents in school. Mm -hmm. I mean the teachers. Mm -hmm. So if you you should be a good parent to a child, I think you should also show um, moral, good moral behaviors to the child. Mm -hmm. For the child to have, um, to follow the good steps that you are, you have, you are, thank you very much, yes sir. To follow in your footsteps, <coughs> you know, to follow in your footsteps and see how best they can be better yes, than you are. The footsteps of the pain. Mm -hmm. But then, if a teacher has to train the child and then also has to date the child, for example, if the child is a male, those that that bad that bad uh, attitude of yes, the pain mm -hmm. will also be transmitted to the child. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think education does not only have to be um, the written aspect or the oral aspect. Mm -hmm. It also has to do with um, the good moral behavior of the mm -hmm. child. So if the teacher has to be dating with the child, that will not bring um, good... Good grades. Perhaps you might yeah. have good grades good inside the school, but during the WAS, it's yeah. only you and the examiner, and that is very, very important. Bah. Sally, you want to throw some light on the issue yeah. of uh, student-teacher relationships? Yes. You see, Baji, there is something very important in what she is talking about. Mm -hmm. One thing we have to realize is that these teachers are human beings. Mm -hmm. And once you are dealing with them, you have to know that they have feelings. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> they have feelings just like how we have our own. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we always blame the teachers for dating students Why and we are not blaming the students for dating students? We are all human beings. Mm -hmm. Now, there are factors responsible for this occurrence. What are the factors? Those factors include the way of dressing of the chil children. When now imagine, imagine you Baji, as a teacher, a young teacher for example, getting into a class, you see a lady sitting like this, while everything in this part is outside. That is a very big distraction. So you see that, that is one factor that are leading teachers to do such, such things. Mm -hmm. The other thing is I just mentioned read. Read everything of anything and anything of everything. Mm -hmm. That's what Seth here said. Mm -hmm. Now if you are reading, and you are well prepared, you come to class, examination, is, it is time for examination. Do you think you will think of going to a teacher telling the person, give me mark? And the teacher will not give you mark for free. You it's give open you bracket have. and close you you bracket. You give what you have to gain what you want. Yes. Definitely true. So the only problem is that we are not reading. And secondly, the code of dress, I'm sorry to say, but the code of dress and the way we move. You see, some of the students, like schools that are using skirts, yeah. They only adjust their skirts when they are passing beside their teachers. What are you adjusting? And Why don't you go into a <laughs> corner, you sneak there, and you adjust what you are adjusting? And once, so some and of the once problems, they have passed, some of the you problems, have the yeah, check down syndrome. Yeah, some of the problems are caused by the students mainly. Mm -hmm. And we need to fight that force before we go to the teacher. Teachers. Because a responsible teacher, uh, teacher, as he have just rightly mentioned, should not have that attraction towards his students. Mm -hmm. But the students should be 
a creative person, you should create that barrier between you and your teacher mm. so as to keep him alive. He's okay. also a human being like you. And has feelings, right? Just yes. as you said. So you see, <laughs> that, is, that is definitely important. I think uh, the issue that we just touched, which is the issue of dress code, is yes. paramount because, exactly. I mean, there are certain things that you wear, even, uh, you know, you easily get distracted. Even the students. You and it's so tempting. And yes. just like you said, the issue of the check down, yes. you know, is something you talk about, you know, the, the push-up. Even the way you walk. I mean, uh, the push-ups, you know, everything. Uh, it's, it's, it's serious and definitely so needs to be addressed. And I think it is important that, you know, uh, schools closely look at the dress codes of their students, especially the girls. Gabriel, you want to add something onto the issue of dress code? Um, I will not actually blame, put a blame all on the students. Mm -hmm. Most of the blame I'll put on the, on the, on the teachers because um, a teacher is part of the school administration mm -hmm. and a teacher has authority. And I don't think that if the teacher doesn't show the student um, that uh, that eye, of that eye of, oh, you can come. Oh, here I am. <laughs> yes. I don't think the student will go to the teacher and approach the teacher for anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if a teacher is uh, as professional as a teacher could be or should be, the student will definitely not... Uh, Try doing such. No. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, that's very much important. Uh, something I also want us to uh, look into is the issue of discipline. It's always been mentioned by... Uh, prominent people in the Gambia, educationists, government officials, at all levels. And uh, this yes. is one thing that they said is really lacking in the education sector of the world over, and the Gambia is not an exception. To your own um, point of view, what, um, how, how would you perceive the level of discipline of students in their various schools, especially towards administration and authority? Um, I'll say it's a bit moderate. Moderate. Yes. Because, like, not all of the students in school mm -hmm. are indisciplined. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it's just like a fragment of the, of the general population of students in the school. A few unscrupulous in the Yes. Schools. That will cause the problems in the school, and then they will also influence some other students in the school to follow the school, the school mm -hmm. to follow such path and then do some things. Um, but most of the students sometimes do adhere to authority. Mm -hmm. But, um, t and also on, on, a, on another side, when it comes to discipline, I don't also think that uh, it should all be blamed on the school. Mm -hmm. As it is said, charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think if the, we as young people receive much moral lessons from our, from our school, from our homes, from parents, I think um, it will reflect in the, in the way we behave and the way we interact with people outside, outside in the society and our schools. Okay. Yes. Uh, that is, that is uh, your own take on the issue of discipline, Sally? Yes. Um, when you're talking about <coughs> discipline, I think you're talking about respect towards teachers, respect among students, students. and respect among, among fellow uh, schools, mm -hmm. inter-school respect. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, every student is an ambassador of your home to your school. Now, one thing we have to understand is that you are not going to spend the entire lifetime career in the school. Mm -hmm. You are only there for three years. And within those three years, you only spend uh, perhaps four hours with your teachers. Mm -hmm. Now, the discipline is to be inculcated by our parents at home. Charity begins at home. Yes. Now, what happens is that parents, I'm sorry to say that, but parents are so busy for their families now. Busy Perhaps money, jobs, <laughs> yeah. looking for jobs. It is very hard that you knock at a compound today where you find a, a family meeting being conducted, which is very important. If you read ancient books, you find out that our parents, our forefathers, usually have um, um, family meetings where, where you see the grandfather sitting with the entire family, advising them, telling them what is wrong, what is right. The problem is that we are only learning from our mistakes now. Mm -hmm. Any, every student is now learning from his or her students. So you cannot be perfect on that because there are some mistakes that are unacceptable. Mm -hmm. You understand? One thing you, the students should understand also is that when you are in school, you are not only there to jot down notes. notes. Mm -hmm. You are also, also there to improve your moral, to, to know how you associate with people. That is what is called awareness. 
you have to create that relationship. You have to attract your teachers in a way that they believe you and they have confidence on you. Mm -hmm. No matter how able you are in mathematics, no matter how able you are in accounting, if your teachers frown at you whenever they see you, it has no use on you. Yeah. It will not tell well on you. Mm -hmm. So discipline is the father of anything that we want to so achieve in. Mm -hmm. So let us use it as our clothes yes. and we will achieve our success, inshallah. Yes.